11.4 Dimensional Analysis, One Step Conversions. We divide out units by placing them in the opposite part of the fraction. So if we look at the very first part of our video, or I should say here, notice that we have inches in top and inches in the bottom. This is what we mean by opposite. Conversion factors have the same value in the numerator and denominator, but they are different units. If you go to our example here, we have one foot over 12 inches. They are equal. They are the same distance. That's why we, what we mean by the same value. And then dimensional analysis, we multiply by a conversion factor. to convert the units. So in this example here, we put the opposite in, inches over inches is 1, so what we end up with is 57 divided by 12. We ignore the ones that do not have any effect on our calculation. Everything in the top is multiplied, everything in the denominator is divided, and so when we divide 57 by 12, we're going to get 4.75, and then our units is feet. So let's take a look at example one. We're trying to convert 3.8 kilometers to miles. So what we need is a conversion to go from miles or kilometers to miles. We have that 1.61 kilometers equals one mile. So that's my conversion that I'm going to use. We always start with what we want to convert, which would be the 3.8 kilometers, and we write it over one. Next to it goes our conversion factor. Because we have kilometers here in the top, we want kilometers in our denominator. So we'll put 1.61 kilometers down here and we'll put our one mile up top. So kilometers over kilometers is gone. So we're going to take 3.8 and we're going to be dividing because our unit is in the denominator. So we'll divide by 1.61. We put that into our calculator and I get that we get have 2.36. We're going to round to the nearest hundredth here and that will be miles. Let's look at our second example. We want to convert kilograms to pounds, and if we look at our conversion table, we see that 2.2 .2 pounds equals one kilogram. Okay, so we start with the unit we want to convert, which would be the 48 kilograms. We write it over one, Then we put in our conversion factor. We have kilograms on top, so we want kilograms on the bottom. It means that 2.2 needs to go up top. Kilograms over kilograms is gone. So now we're going to take 48 times 2.2. Throw that in our calculator. And we get 105.6 pounds, and we're done.